Temple 59, Wisconsin 55. Good effort isn't enough for the Badgers. Philadelphia, Wisconsin coach Greg Gard and his players must be getting used to this theme. The effort was commendable for 40 minutes. The execution was commendable for about 36 minutes. The result was another close defeat that could have been a victory with better, smarter play in the closing possessions. We knew coming in that we were going to have to be solid for all 40 minutes, Gard said Wednesday night after the Badgers suffered a 59-55 loss to Temple at the Lyakuras Center. And we were pretty solid for 36 or 37. Obviously, we've got to be able to finish games. That is one thing this team is figuring out. We need to make better decisions, finish plays in the paint and do some things better defensively and we'll get over the hump. Temple did all that down the stretch. Senior forward Toby and Eki Onia had two critical blocks against Ethan Tapp and junior guard Shiz Alston Jr. hit four free throws in the final one minute nine seconds. Alston finished with a team-high 22 points to help Temple 5-2 wipe out a 55-52 deficit over the final 2-24. The Badgers 4-6 went scoreless after a Leamford's rebound basket with 3.34 remaining and missed an opportunity to climb back to the .500 mark. Instead, they hit the six-loss mark before the end of December for the second time in three seasons. Hap hit 11 of 19 shots and led UW with 23 points including 13 in the second half. He carried UW to a 55-52 lead with 3.34 left but missed his final three shots as UW went scoreless for the final 3.33. And Eki only 11 points, 7 rebounds and 4 blocks had 2 of his 4 blocks in the final 2.04. for Hap turned back to look at the official after both blocks and acknowledged afterward he thought he was fouled both times. I believe there was contact on my shooting arm that I was shooting with which usually comes down to a foul, he said. But I guess they were letting it play on that end. Cattle Iverson added 9 points and freshman Brad Davidson and Ford added 8 apiece for UW. Davidson scored all his points in the first half, Ford had all his in the second half. UW was struggling on offense and leading by 1 when Ford grabbed a loose ball and scored inside for a 55-52 lead with 3.34 left. Eneki only scored inside and then blocked a shot by Hap. That led to a foul and one of two free throws by Quinton Rose. Nine points to forge a tight with two minutes left. UW called a timeout with 151 left. In Syria, blocked tap on another drive and the Owls took over it with 138 left. Josh Brown, 10 points, was fouled with 130 left and missed the front end of the bonus, but Eneki only grabbed the rebound. That led to a foul on tap with 109 left. Alston Jr. hit both free throws to give 